Here's today's heads up of the podcast. It's all about encouraging you, really. Encouraging encouraging you to carry on in this adventure and liking it to what it really is. The hero's adventure and you are the hero and the changes you can make. So let me just ramble, if you would, and I'll share you my little adventure too, where it started, where it is, and then we'll have to imagine where it goes to. If you're new to this, please do listen to the next little bit of the intro, and I'll explain everything about me, who I am, and what Personal Development Unplugged podcast is all about. If you're not the old skedaddle to, well, a minute and a half, very roughly, and I'll begin to ramble. Hey, my name's Paul Clough, and I'm part of this thing I've called Unplugged Personal Development. It's a niche of one, the Personal Development Unplugged podcast. You see, in this genre of personal development, self-improvement, of becoming a better you, I believe things have been made way, 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 way too complicated. And I wondered why. And I don't think it's to make people like you or me feel better, feel good. I think maybe it's for the people who made it more complicated to feel better about themselves. And I don't want any part of that. So that's why I've created this podcast, the Personal Development Unplugged Podcast. And it's to break down these complicated ways. And I want to produce and develop powerful, new, yet simple ways. Remember, in simplicity, there's genius. And breaking down these processes, I'll be using hypnosis, NLP, timeline therapy, so many other things. And I'm doing it for one reason only. So you and me can become, if you choose to come on this adventure with me, to become the real you. The real you. Sing from your real voice. To show up. Be authentic. All the stuff people talk about, but don't tell you how to do it. I want to break down those personal barriers. Your personal barriers. I don't want to fix the things that didn't work. Because the thing is, they didn't bloody work. And it's about finding better ways and not using painful ways of the old sorts of ways people used to use, but creating pleasurable ways, passionate ways to create real opportunities to let your dreams come true, you know, get learning and developing new skills that make it happen. And the aim of this is not to create the old you, but for you to be fully the real you. So if that feels good, come and join me on this Unplugged Adventure. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hi, everybody. And today I wanted to just talk to you about something I've been thinking about. It's just like a re-remembering But I also wanted to share with you, because when you're on this little adventure of self-discovery, things can, well, not always go as planned. And I wanted to, in some ways, give you all the encouragement I can to keep on this adventure. So my personal story of my little adventure started years and years and years ago. I was really into things like yoga. Uh, I went, I did a lot of journaling and all different kinds of stuff. I got into meditation, going to different classes as it were. Back in those days, it, there were not too many people doing it, but getting into meditation, even things like channeling, weird stuff like that, but all just going into this different, different mind psychology, I guess, mind stuff, I call it. And j- because I was just interested in, there was something different out there. And I, I guess I felt I was a little bit different myself. But hey, you know, so, and then something, I, I was thinking back, when did this, this self-development stuff start? Me getting into things like NLP and hypnosis, when did that really start? And I thought back, and it's good to use your journal for this, and we'll talk about that shortly. And I know I bang on about journaling, but it's such a great thing to do. But I thought back, and I think, 
the very first time I really got into it, I didn't really know things like NLP or hypnosis, was reading a book by Tony Robbins. I've mentioned him quite a lot in here, and he was a great influence in my early days of of getting into this this thing. He wrote a book called The Giant Within. If you haven't read it, it's a great read. It's a great, okay, it's a bit dated now, but it is a great read, which led me on to his 30-day self-development tapes. Yeah, tapes, you imagine the old tapes, put them into the old car, and wow. And I can even remember, still remember driving to work, listening to those tapes and getting into state by going, yes, and banging my chest while I'm driving the car, which is really quite weird. But what I meant to say, really quite weird. But it was those new, just new ideas to me that set me on the way that you could actually do these type of things. And then what happened? I saw an evening class all about NLP. And it was just a, a random class of this guy, a lovely guy, just really selling the, the techniques, I guess. But that was enough to bite me, to bite my enthusiasm, as it were, to draw me in. And I then spent quite a few few weeks and months talking to the guy who would eventually change, change teach me uh, his brand of hypnosis lovely guy called Will Proudfoot. No longer here, unfortunately. But at that particular time, I guess he was one of the best hypnotists around. But such a lovely man. And it took me ages to talk with him because I didn't want to do hypnosis. I wanted to do NLP for this wonderful manipulative stuff that was totally bonkers. But anyway, we talked and we didn't argue, but we had these discussions how I didn't think I needed it. And he knew better because he did. Bless him, Wilf did know better. And I spent, I guess, two to three years learning hypnosis, NLP. And then another two years helping people uh, in classes uh, in NLP and hypnosis. And it was, I guess, that was then my foundation of my self-discovery. I was actually doing seeing clients way before that when I just learned the hypnosis. But as I got into the NLP and I started to really get a rich insight of of me and the things that were possible, because I didn't think they were possible for me. And as that only goes to prove, we don't know enough, do we, to know what's impossible or what's possible, because everything's possible, isn't it? And then through some ups and downs, which I've talked about before, and I won't go there now, don't need to, I was sent on my way to become a trainer of NLP, or learn to become a trainer of NLP. And again, that was a very weird thing to happen to me, because I was in this really close business relationship with this guy, a guy called Mike, a different Mike that I've talked about. Lovely guy, so trustworthy. We got on so well. In fact, for the... All the years I worked with him, which was about 13 years, we never had a contract of employment between us. It was all done on trust, which is totally the wrong thing to do, but it worked so well with us. But I remember going to see him one day and saying, Mike, uh, I'm actually going to America to to take this NLP stuff a little bit further to to learn and to be hopefully certified as a trainer of NLP. And he said to me, well, when are you going? I said, well, July. He said, and how long for? I said, July, the whole of July. And he said, oh, oh okay then. And that's the type of relationship we had. Okay then, now that's what you want, Paul. We'll have to work it out. He said, what happens after July then? And that's when I told him, uh, actually, Mike, I don't know. Because when I go away, I'm going to come back a different person. I don't know what that person will be. Uh, and it was at the time of my one of those dark periods. So I knew I wasn't the right person at the moment, but I knew I was going to come back differently. I just didn't know how and who the type of person I'd be. But it changed my life completely, having a whole month immersed into NLP with a, such a wonderful set of people. In fact, that's what happens when you're on this. You know, it, I made a little note in my journal saying that this is like my own ramble on my own personal hero's journey because the hero's journey is such a wonderful thing and it is so good of giving you an idea what happens when you're on this adventure because 
I met some wonderful people. But also when you talk to people, people, you know, and your friends, some are intrigued. They want to know more. They're happy for you. Some are really interested. And they're there to support you. And some are just put off. The naysayers, you know. And this tall poppy syndrome some comes out of it sometimes that they want to just cut cut you back and bring you back to the fold. You know, or they're a little bit frightened of you leaving them. But hey, this is what happens. We, You know, on the hero's journey, you go away. You go away, as it were, to discover new things, your new path, or your real path. You know, to follow your vision and become part of the missions that create that vision. And you will find some people will be like obstacles in your way. And that's what I'm trying to encourage you to, to know that sometimes it doesn't always run as smoothly, 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 smoothly as we'd like to think, because we think we're on this wonderful adventure to, to create and find this better self. And there's bloody things that get in our way. Obstacles, things that bring us down sometimes. But that's part of calling this an adventure, not a journey. Because you'll get to experience. Okay, you get to experience those naysayers, but there, sometimes the teachers that are there that we need to have to just to realise other things. But you'll also see different issues things that you didn't know were possible, things that you'll have to maybe learn to move on. But that's the whole thing. Every step of the way becomes a new experience. And it's a fantastic set of experiences when you look back. And I think this is what I'm trying to say to you, and this is what I found by just making some notes on on this My Own Personal Hero's journey, is all the things that you have met along the way, how far you've come, because sometimes we never realize how far we've come. You know, we always measure our our worst inside with other people's best outside. We don't realize all the things that they've done on their adventure, their journey. And you don't realize sometimes of the teachers who have come just at the right time. On that trainer's training, I had one or two, two guys and gals who just were there just at the right time. And I needed them to be there at that time. I didn't know it at the time. But there were people who had conversations with me and would hold me accountable. Hold me accountable, but keep me safe. And that was a wonderful thing. These teachers keep you safe. They are there. If you're prepared to be vulnerable, they are there to help you. And when you're that type of vulnerable, and when I was speaking to them, I was really vulnerable. They were there to help you along the way. And that's what you find. You know, and, and from that, so many different things have happened. I've met so many different people. I've traveled to different countries to, to teach and share this, this tiny little bit of knowledge that I have. You know, and then you get, this deeper sense of self, where when you write in your journal, sometimes, again, there's some hardships, but the, the things that you find, things that you find that are in you that you didn't realize were there all the time. But because you've taken this journey of self-improvement, and I don't really like even the word self-improvement, it's just self-discovery, because you're really discovering what's all always been there, we just don't always access it because of sometimes there's those limiting beliefs, there's those experiences along our earlier life that have caused us to act and behave and think in different ways. And now we can not challenge them, but learn from them. And when we learn from them, we can move on. That's what I love about this. And to realize, and this is one of the biggest things that gets me, is just to keep knowing this is not all there is. There is such a plethora, is the word that comes to mind, but a huge wealth of stuff that we just don't know, and we can know. And sometimes I sit, sit and think, well, some people don't realise this. They go to work, well, they get up in the mornings and they go to work. They come back. 
they have something to eat, they watch some TV, go to bed, get up in the morning. And that's their cycle, back to work. Come home, eat, watch the TV, sleep. And that was a cycle I think we've probably all been in at one time. But because we took responsibility, and you took the responsibility, however far you're on this journey, even if it's from the, the very first step, if you've only taken one step or you're wherever you are in your, your adventure, you took responsibility to seek that difference. The difference that sometimes for, for those who like um, change, and variation, the difference that makes a difference. For those of you who worry about sometimes too many options, you know, though, this is the one path that you can decide and control. But control is as much as control by taking responsibility of the actions you take, the decisions that you make to, to look at those negative beliefs that have held you back and learn from them. Because when you learn from them, that sense of the positive intention behind them, a lot of it is protection to keep you safe. You realise that whilst in the past it did you so, so wonderfully well with the wisdom and the knowledge you had, now, having learnt from them, you can create and allow the most positive belief to come in and support you and still be safe, still be protected all because you took a step in this adventure. And the thing about this adventure is, the only sorry thing to think about is, and it's the wonderful, most wonderful thing to think about is, it will never, ever end. The adventure never ends. How far down that rabbit hole do you want to go? Because it's infinite. And it's infinite just like your potential. Now, this is, you know, I've come coming back in a little bit, not quite full circle, but talking to you now on this little niche of a podcast. It's only a small podcast. It's just a few of us. Hopefully that will grow. Grow, but not for ego grow, but for sharing grow. Because that's what we're doing. We're sharing, sharing knowledge, sharing experiences. And it's sharing skills so you can... I support your dreams, and that's what it's all about. Support, supporting your dreams, your goals, your outcomes, and this is can can be in any context. Because yeah, you can have it. I want to be the best athlete. I want to be the best person in my career. But you can also be the best and the greatest mum, the best and greatest dad in the world. But the best and greatest mum or dad that you can be. The best. Well, you fill in the blank. It could be anything. It could be a carer, a helper, a teacher, just to be the best in any context. And if we just become that little bit better day by day, because you've taken the responsibility to, to, to pick up, oh, excuse me, pick up your bags, your bags of experience and tread this path of discovery and you share it with others because even though you might even think well I'm not doing an awful lot of sharing Paul you haven't even shared the podcast <laughs> that's just a little side but you know you are sharing just by being you on this this mission to find your vision following your vision even though if you don't know what your vision is the missions you're on are headed towards that that vision or the ultimate vision for you while you're here on this little old planet of ours. But you are sharing just by being you. People are seeing you. You're the example of what is possible. And even you know, like I know, we don't know enough to know what's impossible. So we know that everything is possible. And that's wonderful, isn't it? Even when you're not sharing, you're sharing. Because you can't help but sharing. And I go back to the thing I, I rattle on about. You know, you'll never know how far the ripples of this change in you will go. And the effect of those ripples of change in others then will go. 
And then that change and ripples in them, those others, will affect others and those others. And it's like paying it forward without even knowing you're paying it forward. And this is where the question I pose to myself, I pose to you. What would happen if you deliberately took responsibility to share? To share these little snippets, these nuggets of wisdom that you've learnt. What would happen then when you do that deliberately? Those ripples of change will go so much further and wider and quicker. And when you do that, the, I can never say this word, reciprocity, you see, I told you, but reciprocation, the world, the, uni, the universe, the multiverse, people, everyone in it, will give back to you without you even wanting it. It just comes. And again, we keep talking about being lucky, allowing synchronicity just to happen to us, to have that coincidence of meeting the right person, having the right opportunity. All because some time ago, you took the responsibility to think and do, to follow your path in this adventure, the never-ending adventure. That's a Walt Disney title, I think, isn't it? But anyway, this never adventure, never, never, I'm going to get it right this time. Never ending adventure of you. And I know that vision that you, that, that's there for you, whether you know it now or as it develops like that opening lotus, lotus flower in that meditation. It's going to happen. It's going to become available to you. So when you do look back from the future, back to where you, all the steps you took along the way, you can just go, do you know what? That was worthwhile. Do you remember that story I, tell, I, I told about the man picking up the starfish on the beach, being told he'll make no difference to the world? And then as that person who said that ran, ran away, he put another starfish back into the sea and said, well, that makes a difference to you. That is you, my friend. That is all of us who share this wonderful world, your world. So that was my own little hero's journey ramble. And it was there just to encourage you, encourage you to to make that difference that makes a difference, to be the difference that makes a difference. And more importantly, be you. Sing from your own inner voice. Show up being you and be proud of it. Have that integrity, that alignment with your conscious and unconscious minds. And let's make a difference right now and every moment. There you go. I've rattled on far, well, not hopefully far, not, not too far long. My words are not working today, are they? But you know what I mean. So let's just carry on supporting each other to make a difference. Okay? So in a moment, I'm going to give a little outro or remind you of one or two things. But let's share everything we can share. And just on a side note, before I do the outro, if there is a topic, if there's a topic or an issue that you have or you know that you'd like to discuss, maybe a friend's got an issue and you, you don't know how to advise them, let me know. Just email me, email me paul at paulclough.co.uk and we'll try to come up with a podcast with some processes, some advice, maybe some, a hypnosis track or some or a coaching session which might just be the one little thing that changes everything. It's anonymous, of course, unless you want your name, name mentioned. Either way, my name is Paul Clough. Enjoy every heartbeat and have more fun than you can stand. See you in a minute. Hey, just before you go, I've just got a two or three uh, little bits of information I'd like to share with you. The first one is, unfortunately... 
the introductory prices at paulcloughonline.com, the programs such as Free Your Life from Anxiety, Supreme Inner Confidence, the hypnosis tracks there, the paid ones. Well, it's, they're all going up in price because this in, introductory period is coming to an end. But here's the big but. If you join, join the community by merely just joining Paul Clough Online dot com forward slash podcast as usual you'll get all or you'll get free access to all the hypnosis tracks that are attached to this podcast you'll also get now and again discounts and offers on those programs and if you want them and i'll also extend that guarantee completely and also you get surprise hypnosis tracks and coaching tracks that won't be available on this podcast because I want to be able to share even more to the people who, well, the people who are really doing this work and really getting into it. So if you'd like that, go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast, get your free access to all those hypnosis tracks and more. Now, the other thing is, did you enjoy this um, episode of the Personal Development Unplugged podcast? Because if you did, I know time is finite. We've only got so much time in this world and how we use it. But if you did have time to share, wouldn't it be nice if you share this episode or one of your favorite episodes to some friends or unfriends, people who you feel might need it because you'll be doing them one of the greatest services is showing them a way to to change themselves. And in that way, you wouldn't... Well, one thing you'll never know, though, is how far the ripples of those change will go. But I just know, I know, they'll go further than you can imagine because those changes will make changes in other people as well. And in that way, we become, well, we create a community, but also create a community for change. And we will, the big picture is, we will change this little earth we live on in a good way. That would be brilliant, I think. And also, lastly, but not leastly, If you'd like to receive these podcasts on whatever you listen to them on, just subscribe. So you can subscribe to iTunes if you you wish, and and it'd be really kind if you did. Leave a little uh, five-star review or any star review, obviously. But leave a a review if you could. That'd be nice. But also, there's there's another great app that I found. I mentioned it before. It's called CastBox. C-A-S-T-B-O-X. CastBox. And again, it has a subscription button. It gives you a place where you can leave a review. But also, what I did find out is when you subscribe, you get a facility to search through all the episodes of Personal Development Unplugged. So if you want something for, say, confidence or grief or sadness, or you put that word in and search through and see what comes up. There's so many there. might be able to make you find the, the ones that you want that much more easier. Now, the thing is, if you can't find them, let me know by email, paul at paulclough.co.uk, and I'll guide you to the right place. Also, if there's anything you'd like me to, to discuss, go deeper with an issue you have, that obviously you'll remain anonymous, don't worry about that, because we can dive deep into it, we can come up with some processes, we'll develop a process if need be, but also, it's like when you're in one of those seminars, someone asks a question and you go, oh, thank God, they ask a the question, I've been wanting to ask, but I didn't feel brave enough. Well, now you can ask that question with complete safety. Send me the email and we'll discuss it, dive deep, find answers for you and all the other people who have similar issues. And we can develop it like that. And let's develop this community. So thank you for this bit of time for listening here. I'm going to get off and get ready for the next one. Okay, so see you soon. Well, Enjoy, well, I mean it so much. Enjoy every heartbeat and have more fun than you can stand. Until next time, it's Paul. Bye-bye. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.